welcome to my channel. My name is Esther and today I'll be doing a little review of Dare and Doe Dressed ebook. But before I start, I just want to tell you what I'm wearing. This is McCall's 7892 and it was a twirl of the bodice just to see how it fits. And what I've just done is I've just made the crop top version. I'll put a picture through so you can see it. It's just as the pattern, just as the pattern. Nothing was adjusted. I just wanted to try it out and then see how far it fits. Deando contacted me on Instagram to ask if I'd like an advanced copy of the addressed ebook. So the ebook was already available since last year in French, but they have translated it to English and they sent me an advanced copy. The copy is now available for everyone to purchase, but I received the copy possibly a week before launch date. Like I said, they gifted me the book, so I'm not under any obligation to do this post or to even make any of the patterns. They just wanted to see if I liked it, and I did. So I wanted to just share with you a little bit about the book. So I'm just going to be looking at the book on my phone and then um, I'll be talking you through it. So like I said, this is an ebook, and with that you have to print out your own patterns. But the patterns have the A4 copy as well as the copy shop version. So you can print off whichever is most comfortable for you and then you can just make it from there. So essentially, this book is a capsule wardrobe and it contains everything you need to make your own capsule wardrobe. The book has two parts to it. The first part is the method while the second part is patterns. The way it works is that you create a capsule wardrobe for each season. So we're talking spring, summer, autumn, winter. And you have different worksheets to help you to come up with a very intentional wardrobe. And it's perfect because I always make clothes just based on what I like, but nothing ever goes with anything. It's by luck that a pair of trousers match with the top or a, a skirt matches with a top. So with that, I'm really looking to really make an intentional wardrobe and not just, you know, random sewing, which is what I currently do. There eight worksheets if I remember correctly in this book and in the first worksheet you kind of list all the activities you perform within a two-week period you begin to also say how important each of those activities are in your life as well as you link it to the season you're in so for instance during summer you're more likely to go out during the day than during winter depending on who you are so you look at what season it is and what kind of activities you perform in that season and then you count the number of times you perform each activity so for me in a two-week period I will go to work 10 times so for work where I would need outfits that match 10 days within a two-week period in the second worksheet, you list all the criteria that corresponds to your chosen activities. So essentially, you determine what type of activities you have in a two-week period, and then you determine whatever criteria you require for each activity. So for me, using workwear as an example, my criteria would be that I need my workwear to be layerable because the air conditioning in my office can be you know unpredictable so i need something that i can put on when it gets cooler and i can take off when it gets warmer also they give you a blank worksheet as well as an example so you're able to kind of use the example to gauge whether you're doing the correct thing or not and i really like that so after making worksheet one and worksheet two you move on to creating a mood board so you randomly select different things that you like different things that you feel will fit your aesthetic you just randomly select them then after you do that you then edit them again so you're essentially going as intentionally as possible to make yourself a wardrobe that fits your lifestyle so you make sure that your mood board matches your personality and then you edit your mood board to match your criteria from you know worksheet two for me i will need to make sure that the garments that are in my mood board for workwear are layerable because I need layers that's a criteria that is important to me then you move on to worksheet 3 which is that you note all the qualities your mood board has you put it down and you, you begin to use those details as a starting point for your own creations you pick whatever are the dominant colors in your mood board so for instance you might realize that you like some specific colors I have since realized that I really like orange burnt orange and burgundy 
So for instance, my mood board will probably have those types of colors as dominant colors. Then you pick what kind of style your mood board has, as well as the types of fabrics that are showing up on your mood board. And then the book moves on to color. So it teaches you a bit about color theory, then it walks you through analyzing your own color as well. So you use your worksheet four to record all the results from your color analysis. Are you warm toned, you know, cool toned and all of that. Then you also create a color palette using the analysis you've already done. Now you need to go back to your mood board and now edit your mood board to, to make sure that it fits the color palette that best suits you. So you're really doing this very intentionally. You're creating a mood board, then you're going back to edit it. It really helps to create that type of lasting wardrobe. Then the book goes on to talk about making peace with your body. That is just amazing. You know, talking about body image that this is the body I have and I have to make do with it. So I have to love it to be able to create things for it that will fit it. After going through all those steps, then you record your measurements, your real measurements, not what you hope them to be or what you're looking for them to be, but really the measurements that you have at the moment. Then you note some observations about your body. For instance, I am curvy with a fuller bust, toned legs and um, I have a bit of a narrow shoulder as well. So you note that there's space in the worksheet to trace you know, a bit of your body as well from a photograph. So it really helps you to narrow down your own body and then work from there. Next, you use your current wardrobe to find garments that correspond to your outfit formulas and that also have you know, similar details to what you've already described in your worksheet. You try these garments on, you take pictures and you write notes based on, you know, what you like, what fits you and everything. Then you need to make sure that you, the garments you've picked, they reflect your mood board. You make sure that it works in harmony with, you know, your body type. You've already spoken about your body shape, your body type. So you need to make sure that the garments you're making are not just random things, but they're things that fit with your body as well as match your style you know sometimes you can just be making clothes randomly because they look nice but in the real sense of it, it doesn't match your style so this book is helping you to really zero down to let me make sure that the garments i'm making match my style then make sure you take pictures of all these things so you have it on record now once you're happy with your outfits all the outfits you've picked you use worksheet six to draw each outfit. That's going to be a bit of a difficult one for me because I'm not so good at drawing. But I think it should be simple. You just do simple lines to draw your outfit. And after all this work, on to my favorite part, which is the planning. I can plan and plan and plan and plan. I love planning my sewing. Executing is a whole other thing. But what you do here is that you choose the number of outfits you need. So, you know, you've already gone through what events you're going to be doing in a two week period so you now pick what kind of how many outfits do i need for you know these two weeks you choose the number of outfits you actually need then you break down those outfits into garments so you know you break it down into trousers and a blouse trousers and a t-shirt a dress a skirt and a t-shirt and so on and so forth you want to make sure that these garments are as interchangeable as possible because you're creating a capsule wardrobe. You want all of them to go nicely together. You use worksheet seven to make a note of which outfit formulas you want in your wardrobe. So, you know, what pairings you want, trousers and a top, a skirt and a blouse, that kind of thing. Then you determine how many garments you need to make each of the outfit. So how many garments would you need in a two week period to make the particular outfits that you've already chosen? Then you plan what you're going to do which by all means doesn't mean you go sewing everything and the book actually says that so you can pick garments you already own if they match with everything that has already been discussed before matching with your aesthetic your color palette it goes with your body image then you can choose those garments that are in your wardrobe you can pick some to sew and you can even buy some as well so you know it's not by force to go sewing up a storm the book has nine patterns, which is a really good starting point if you wanted to make yourself all your garments. Even if you don't want to make all, you can make a good number of pieces with the nine garments that are in the book. Now, you use worksheet eight to list your projects in the order you want to complete them. So all the things you want to make and in the order you want to complete them. 
and then you begin to pick what sewing patterns you're going to use you make a note of what size you're going to make what adjustments you need to do you know what colors what pattern textures what type of drape that kind of thing so you can decide what type of fabric you'll be using the book goes on to talk about fabric it teaches you a bit about fabric as well it gives you different briefs about fabrics and their different types drapes and compositions so now you use worksheet 8 to record the fabrics you've chosen for your projects of what type of weight it has what type of stretch content if any what color and you know how much fabric you're going to be using and that really is the capsule wardrobe planning part of the book so now you've been able to come up with everything you need to make yourself an intentional wardrobe and we go to the part that I really like which is the pattern so I'm just going to quickly talk you through the patterns they're very simple basic patterns because they're just a starting point for you to be able to create your own wardrobe so I think that every single pattern in the book will be something that I would like in my wardrobe and they're simple patterns in my opinion so it won't be too difficult to make up so you have nine patterns like I said before and each pattern has two variations so just from the book without making any of your own adjustments you already have 18 patterns that is a lot so that's that's really good the patterns are basics which are interchangeable so they help you to be able to really make a cohesive wardrobe now I'm quickly talking you through the patterns the first pattern is a t-shirt pattern it is a neat pattern and you know a fitted one it has a built-in shirt sleeve and it's available in two different necklines so you have a rounded collar neck as well as a v-neck option and of course you can do other things with the t-shirts it's nice to have a basic t-shirt to be able to work around with and you have a skirt which is slightly flared and it's high-waisted and it has an elastic waistline so very nice and comfortable the skirt is also lined so you can go from summer to winter with that skirt and the skirt has a midi length version as well as a knee length version and of course you can make your skirt more flared you can make your skirt longer you can make your skirt shorter so you can play around with the patterns as well then we have a mock neck top which i really really want to make one of those it's also a knit top and it's fitted it has long sleeves as well as a sleeveless version this pattern can take you from summer to winter and back then moving on to the dress the dress is a boat neck dress with drop shoulders and it has an elastic waist so i'm noticing that a lot of the patterns are very comfortable very easy to put on very 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 nice and very chic but very comfortable as well so this boat neck dress has a flared skirt and it's available in midi length version as well as knee length version because it's just a skirt so it's simple to lengthen it's simple to also shorten so you can make your own length depending on what you're interested in then we move on to a blouse and the blouse has a rounded collar with short sleeves there are two versions one is a top with a curved hem and the other is a dress with a straight hem for me you can easily make the dress with a curved hem and you can easily make the top with a straight hem also we have the button-up blouse the button-up blouse is a v-neck button-up blouse and it's available for two sleeve options we have an elbow length sleeve as well as a short sleeve also with the button-up blouse you can definitely make a different neckline you can decide to move the bottom placket from the front to the back you can pair on with different options it's a nice basic to start with then we have pants or trousers these ones are just straight cut trousers they taper to the ankle which really I really want to make some nice tapered trousers so I'm probably going to make these ones and it has a mock fly so you don't have to make a fly zip but it's a mock one so it still gives you the effect of making yourself a mock zip but very nice and quick and it has a low waist which is also elasticated so it's nice and comfortable and these these trousers have the ankle length version as well as the short version same as the other patterns you can make them longer you can make them shorter just depending on what you want even another option you could do is that you could slash and spread each of the leg pieces to make it more wide legged mm, i just had that light bulb moment that is really nice and on to my favorite pattern in this book 
high-waisted clothes. So the clothes have invisible zipper in the back. It has a side slant pocket, which is really, really cute. And also the pockets are very big because I have made this pattern and I'll show you a picture. Also, it has front pleat, so it's very generous. It's a really easy one to fit. So all you just need to do is just to make sure that you have the right waist measurement and the others will go nice and easily. So there are two versions. We have the ankle length version as well as the shorts version. I've actually made my hem four inches. My culottes are a different length from what the pattern suggests, but that's the beauty of patterns. You can play around with them and just make whatever it is that you want. There's also a jacket pattern in this book. It's a duster jacket which has a dropped shoulder as well as large patch pockets and it can be worn either open or closed with a tie belt. Also, this one has two versions. It has an ankle length version as well as a version that is below the knee. For me, I'd like to make somewhere in between both lengths. But actually, that ankle length version might be a nice change of pace for me. But we'll see about that. So the book is a great place to start with making yourself a capsule wardrobe, making yourself a more intentional wardrobe, making yourself a wardrobe that fits your aesthetic, fits your style, and a wardrobe that you would actually wear, not just making standalone pieces that won't be able to go together. So you can start with these patterns or you can pick up different patterns. The book is able to get you started with making yourself an intentional wardrobe that you're going to wear all the time. For me, I'd really like to make an autumn capsule wardrobe. However, I have lots of fabrics at home and I'm not sure what will go with what because I'm trying not to buy more fabric, but we'll see how far we get. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much. And if you can just let me know in the comments if you've ever made a capsule wardrobe and what kind of tips you could give someone who is just starting. And also, if you've made a capsule wardrobe, was it seasonal, was it for a vacation or just for work wear or a special occasion? Just let me know. I'd be really interested to know. Thanks for watching.